after that, though, once the relationship ended, and um, I guess, you know, the devil really didn't like that, I started getting attacks, um, spiritual attacks in like my sleep, um, like sleep paralysis. I've experienced that a number of times. People say that sleep paralysis, it's just a medical condition. It's absolutely 100% spiritual. <laughs> that is a demon that is on top of you, ultimately trying to cut off your circulation. It is a demonic attack and you plead the blood of Jesus Christ and you call his name. When that happens to him, he will come and he will save you. Um, when I would be sleeping, I would smell the demon. They would be within my, uh, my, within my area, but would not touch me. And I, I, I knew it was a demon because of the smell and the smell was like sewage. It was disgusting. It was awful. And I smelled a number of times I experienced that. And especially whenever, like I speak to people, um, about truth. I would get attacks. I would smell them or they would come for me in my dreams. And while I sleep in the spirit room, they come and they attack me. Um, and especially because um, now I am, I've made that decision that I will not be having sex until I am with my husband. The, the, the sexual spirits, the sexual demons, they try very, very, very hard because sex was so, it was, it was, yeah, sexuality it, was a part of my life for so long so many years now that it's not they're trying to reel me back in right so the dreams were my, of ricardo oh gosh it's awful i have to wake up and repent and plead the blood oh my gosh and now i've, I've i have asked for months for the father to, to strengthen me in the spirit realm so that i can fight back and rebuke them so they have to flee and he's gotten me to that point now 